Joby Randrup from Rat Trap Productions. Rat Trap Productions, where we show you how to do stuff. Let's say that you're exactly like me and you have a house that's got switches everywhere to control fans and lights and all kinds of stuff, and it's really fun. Except you get to your laundry room and you notice you got the old pull string. Well, now what do I do? How do I put a switch in there? Well, let's show you. All right, so this is how it works. This is your power that's coming in, and this is your existing light. Okay, so this is your drawstring light. You're going to disconnect the power from the light, and you're going to start completely over. Okay, here's the white that comes in. The white is going to get tied together, and it's going to go right to light. Your ground, which is the bare copper wire, is going to get tied together to the light ground, and that's going to stay with the light. Here's where it gets a little weird. The black is going to come in. It's going to get tied to a white cable. You're going to wrap some black tape. That's what this looks like. You're going to wrap some black tape. And that's going to tell future electricians. It's also going to tell yourself, hey, something weird is going on with this. This is actually power. Power, in this case, is going to bypass the light. And it's going to go into a new stretch of Romex that you're going to take to your switch. Okay? Well, what happens to the black? Black is going to come from the light, because you have a black on the light. It's going to get tied to the black on the, on the new piece of Romex. Okay? So, you have a new piece of Romex. It's got a white. It's got a black. It's got a ground. The white is tied together with a piece of black tape to tell a future electrician or yourself that something's, something's funny with this switch or with this light. It's going to go to the Romex. The black is going to go from the light to the new piece on the Romex. The ground has been tied and that's going to continue on down the line. Now from here all we're going to do is we're going to take that white, remember we put black tape on it on the other side, we're going to put black tape on it here and we're going to connect it up. The black is going to get tied just like normal. The ground is going to get tied just like normal. This is the end of the run. So what they call this is the end of the run single pole switch. So if you have a light that's got a drawstring and you want to put a switch in, you're actually not going to put a switch like I showed in the previous video. I showed you how to put a switch in between the Romex and the light. And that's how you would do it on new construction. If you had a choice, that's how you would do it. But if you have old construction like this, you can put a switch at the end of the run. You just have to make this wiring change. So, if you follow that schematic, you can move from a drawstring switch right at, right at the light to a switch that's on the wall. And if you're lucky and you follow my directions, you'll end up with something like this. This is Joby Randrup from Rat Trap Productions. Rat Trap Productions. We teach you how to do stuff.